All right, here again with another Skagit STEM Community Spotlight. Sean Doffing here with the Executive Director of the Port of Skagit, Patsy Martin. Now, thank you for joining me, Patsy. Thank you for having me, Sean. I appreciate being invited. Of course, of course. So can you tell me just a little bit more about yourself, um, the Port of Skagit, um, and its role within the community? You bet. Um, I am a lifelong Skagitonian. Um, I grew up here. Um, actually, Mount Vernon High School is my alma mater and then went away for college and then anyway, came back to the Valley. Um, started at the Port of Anacortes many, many years ago, and, but I've been at the Port of Skagit for 27 years. Um, and in this role as executive director for 14. Um, our mission is good jobs for the Skagit Valley. We work very hard to find um, ways to help businesses uh, grow good, good jobs. We typically provide the infrastructure that businesses may build on. That, that varies from buildings to train infrastructure to um, launch, launching facilities at our marina to runways at our airport, that sort of thing. Ooh, that's a, quite a bit. Yes, there's a lot to do. But yeah, it sounds like you're, like you're busy. We are, and, and as I said, our mission is good job for the Skagit Valley. Uh, we believe that uh, economic opportunity growth is vital for every family to survive and to thrive. And the, the better that we do at our job, the stronger and the better businesses we'll have in the Valley, which means the stronger and better jobs that they'll have to support those families. Yeah, I mean, and that kind of, you know, takes me to the next question about, you know, originally when the Skagit STEM Network started um, five years ago, like you were, you were really on board with it. Um, you yes. know, my, my boss, Michelle Judson, talked about, you know, you being one of the original champions and, um, and really enthusiastic about it. And so you kind of answered it, but um, it was important then because of all of those reasons. Are you seeing the impacts now um, from, from the, the work that has been getting done and the partnerships that have been made? Yes, we are. We're, st we're seeing um, uh, the growth of... Um, youth that are going into the STEM fields, um, and those youth that are going into the STEM fields grow into um, young people that get the jobs in those STEM um, areas. So whether it's value-added agriculture and um, learning how to work in those fields that are very um, chemistry and biologically based, um, or to boat building or aerospace um, that are also focused on mathematics and the other sciences, um, all of those businesses are doing much, much better by having youth that are educated in the STEM fields. That's awesome. That's great. It's, uh, it's nice to hear. Um, so, you know, that the partnerships have been, you know, being, being made and um, people are working together and we've built, a, you know, kind of a nice network of people. So from your perspective, when we talk about, you know, the Port of Skagit and Skagit school districts and the local community and the Skagit STEM network, um, what, what should be the next steps for us as a, as a partnership? I think that the next step should be as we get post COVID um, to spend more time together uh, to understand what's gone well and what we can improve on. I know that I have spent some time um, at a couple of STEM events uh, in uh, the South Washington area, uh, understanding what they did and what that's gone well down there. And if we can do the same thing and, and work together to uh, build the next steps to um, build on the successes we've had, I guess is what I would say. I think that should be our focus. Just keep going. Just keep going. Yep. yep. I love it. All right. Well, Patsy, thank you so much. Um, the, the Skagit STEM Network would like to thank you for your leadership, um, all the things that you, you've done and are doing for the community. Um, it just was really great talking to you. Thank you very much, Sean, and appreciate you doing this, and I look forward to seeing what happens next.